hormone replacement therapy or postmenopausal hormone therapy uh, is still very controversial. And I don't think we have the answers for women, particularly for early postmenopausal women that we need. The Women's Health Initiative, which was the biggest study looking at hormone therapy, enrolled women who were older, average in their 60s, and did not inform women who were 50 and having a lot of, of uh, hormone-related uh, uh, hot flashes and, and other symptoms as to what their risk or benefit might be related to hormones. Our current recommendation is that women don't take hormones uh, in order to prevent heart attacks. They may take them for symptoms and, and other indications. But there's a lot of interest because we see that, um, we think that women who have a seamless transition and never really have a gap in hormones may actually retain and maintain some of that lower cardiovascular risk. Uh, and so there are a number of studies, including one at Mayo, that Mayo is participating in, the KEEPS trial, where are looking at hormones given to women right at the beginning of menopause to see if they have a reduced risk of heart disease going forward. Um, hormones do have cardiovascular risk. They increase the risk of blood clots in the leg and pulmonary embolus or blood clots to the lung. Uh, they do appear to increase the risk of stroke, particularly given in women who have cardiovascular risk. So I think for now we continue on the guidance uh, that uh, we got from the Women's Health Initiative, which is we don't start them for heart protection. But I think women need to stay tuned because this is a rapidly changing field. And uh, there are many other things that we may find as pros or cons for that individual woman in terms of hormone therapy.